This video is a getting started video on how to use Comfin. When you open Comfin, it looks like this. And to make it easier for you, I have created a star getting started uh, file with some Danish weather files. So what you start by doing, that is going to Comfin, the menu, go to Preferences, Database, and the database is actually the project file. It's a little bit different compared to other software. Here it is a database and not a project file, so to say. And this database path, you should copy and paste the provided database file that you'll find in the comments of this YouTube video. When you open the zipped folder after you have downloaded it, you will find four files. The text file will explain how to paste and copy these files in. The first one, this is the database file. The two last here, that is the weather data files. So if I start by opening this text file, here you will find description on how to place these database file first and then the weather files. So you do that by copying this string or this text make notes of here you need to type in your username. I will then copy this line, control C, click on the address line in the folder, paste it, remove this part of the text where it's written, type in your username, that is your username you use when you log in on your computer, in my case it is DCN and I will change that, press enter and then I will copy first the database file the DB is for database so it is this funny file format is QLIT I need to copy say control C control V and paste that into the folder on your computer the next thing if you want to use Danish weather files it is the same method there is a text line here you need to copy and paste into your address folder by control C going to the folder click in the address line and control V again remove this part where it's written type in your username type in your username in my case it's DCN at this level there need to be a folder called weather so I need to right click say new folder given the name of weather, press enter, I need to give it a 2 because it's already here. So in this folder of weather that you just created, you will copy the two other files in this zipped folder, control C and control V, in my case they're already here so I'll just cancel. It's very important that they are placed in this order. When this is done, next step is going back to Comfin and under database and this window was opened up by going to Comfin and preferences so I will change the database path so it will go down and read the information in this database click on browse and if it's not going to the right uh, path or folder I can use again the text file using this line control C click here click in the line again paste change the name here to your username and then you will come to this folder select that file you just copied in and say open and then this will say you need to click OK to save these settings OK again and you actually need to close Comfin down just click on up here And when you open Comfin again, it will look like this, where there is a project called Comfin Getting Started. And if you click on that one and let it run, then there will be some predefined scenarios and build in some different construction. Like if you go to the libraries, let's just take the walls, for example, and I have built in some. Danish customized wall types here with different conceptual construction 
types with different U values. About the windows, I have also created some default ones that is matching some kind of facade dimension to get it started. On the glazing system, there is also some few Danish selected window types that also is referred to the Google spreadsheet. There is also some frames that is customized for Danish standard. And finally, there is also a Danish location. That's why it was important to copy and paste these weather files. In other videos, it's actually shown how to create your own. To make sure it works, select it, click on edit, and under this path, make sure that the path is correct so it points to that folder that we created earlier called weather and where these two weather files is. It's only looking for this one file that is called EPW, that is the energy weather file. So say open to that and then it should work and save. And to get back to the scenarios, click done. In other videos, it is explained how to use and look into some of these data. As a further help, there is also a link to a spreadsheet in the comment section of this YouTube video. Here it's a defined process of how to look at rooms, starting by looking at facade and window layout, orientation, glazing percentages, and so on. So this is could be a good getting started on how to look at room studies or simulate different room types. And there is also some other sheets in this file. It's about calculating different window layouts where you type in the facade height and length and the wall to window ratio and where you easily can get calculated if you for example have vertical windows and maybe you want to have them one meter in width we can investigate how many windows we need to have like I say it's five windows then it's too low compared to the target maybe it's only four windows that fits to this something like this and then you have all the measurements to put into comfort of the distance in between the different uh, windows. This is more explained in other videos. In this file there is also some example on facade layouts that matching the ones that is explained and shown in the Google spreadsheet. For these ones different typologies or window layouts there is also a library if I create a new scenario just calling tests and have some basic dimension for this room that's not important in this case and double click to get to the facade or the modeling part if I click on libraries there is a lot of different window type types that I just easily can put in and place so it fits to the facade here. So the facade should only be 4 meters then all these different window types will function. So these uh, words called ones is based on a window layout of 50% with a height of 4 meters. So there should be 3 windows then th this will match a layout with a facade of 5.9 meters. It's not every case it, it is like that, but it's just created as an example. So it's a, some examples on how to build up predefined windows. In other videos, I'll go in more detail and explain how to work and model with these types within Confident.